Okay guys, we are back. We are in the finals thing. <laughs> See Draymond Green's song there. Okay, the volume is not working that good. It's okay though. KD, um, you know, I, I hear from Steve Kerr, um, like, as he said after game six, that he has a hard time understanding exactly what this team will do from one game to the next. You can have a half that uh, you can't describe, and then you can have third quarters like you've had the last two games. You've outscored them 66 to 31. Uh, you give me your explanation. Well, we, we play kind of free and random and sometimes that you know looks a little erratic but you know once we lock in and focus on the defensive side of the ball you know we turned it around we hit some huge shots Steph was incredible in the third for us and bringing us back and getting us a nice lead and we just tried to build off of what he what he kind of started for us so everybody came to play tonight it was a hostile environment number of respect for the Houston Rockets uh but we're glad we're moving on did a series like this have a little extra something for you given the fact that Houston had targeted you guys and said this is the team we want to beat this is the way we want to build that team this is the team that can knock them off yeah I mean we, we heard it all year and we know how exciting this team was they played great all season um, you know but we just tried to come in and stick to the game plan I think all series our defense was great holding them under 100 points for the majority of the series when you know they had a high flying offense all year so we just tried to uh, you know stick to our principles and the offensive side of the ball they made us think a little bit more with the switches so we just tried to navigate through that, and Coach, you know, found some the last two games, and Steph and Clay got it going for us in Game Six, and was able to uh, set us up for this one. What did it mean to you to be able to do this on the road in a Game Seven? Man, to be honest, it was just good winning this thing and getting back to the finals, no matter what arena we were in, and you know, our game travels. So we just tried to play Warrior basketball from top to bottom, and everybody came in and contributed tonight. Kevin, congratulations on that. Uh, you know, yeah. Draymond. Uh, you're the guy who led this team in rebounds and assists and steals and turnovers. blocks and <laughs> turnovers and uh, you, know, you name it. But also, I know you had I know you had words to say to these guys at halftime of Game Six when you were down by ten after trailing by seventeen. What was the situation in the locker room at halftime of Game Seven? Everybody was in there talking. Um... The guy who I've heard talk the most these last two games is the guy who talks the least any other time is Clay. You know, he's been talking and, you know, <laughs> that really <laughs> rubbed off on everybody else. So I can't take the credit for that. It was a complete team effort. Everybody was talking and sticking together, and we got it done. There's uh, a, a familiar team waiting for you on Thursday night as you play game one of the NBA Finals. How do you assess what this is going to be like? Because now you're looking at a Cleveland team that you haven't seen before. Your, your two meetings with them came before they made their deals. Definitely a different team. Um, but, you know, we, we know everything goes and stops with LeBron James with them. So, you know, we, our game plan has going in has to be to try to make everything tough on him and take all the other guys out of it. So, you know, it'll be a, a different team, but nonetheless, it's NBA Finals. So it really don't matter who you're playing or what team, you know, they got there. They're there, so that's our business to handle. Was this the toughest Western Conference series you've had in this run to the finals four straight times? Uh, it, or was that OKC a couple of years? I mean, it was, this, we don't speak of the OKC game. Our guy right here, so that don't even matter. But this was a tough series, man. That was a great team we just played against. Uh, you know, they, they gave us everything they could give us, and you know, they almost pulled it out. So much respect to them and everything that, that they did. <laughs> I'm glad. And... Um, you know, we know we'll see them again down the line. I, um, I congratulate you. I know, Steph, we've already, you, you talked to, to David Aldridge afterwards. I'm not going to make you talk again. I just got one more question for a guy who's going to the finals for the first time. And, and he's, because, because look, this is, Nick, Nick Young, 11 years in the league. Um, 
You're going to turn 33 on Friday, so your early birthday present is a trip to the NBA Finals on Thursday. What does this feel like to do this with this bunch? Um, I got a hat, as you can see, T-shirt, and, um, yeah. I'm not Holding the trophy. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> now, what's, what's it mean to get there at this point? Oh, it means the world to me. I don't know. I don't really want to be interviewed right now. I want to go turn up. <laughs> I really want to go have some fun, but you interrupted my moment. But, um, yeah, thank y'all for doing this stuff, okay? Remember, uh, hold, hold on, okay. Rem I'm going to have some fun. I don't want to talk to you. Okay, remember, rem <laughs> remember this date in NBA history, the day Nick Young said he didn't want to be interviewed. The Golden State Warriors are champions of the West. They will meet the Cleveland Cavaliers on Thursday. Congratulations, fellas. <laughs> All right, thank you, Ernie. Also, one other uh, stat passed on by our staff people, uh, led by Brian Taylor and J.P. Uh, Jeff Parrish. This was the largest halftime deficit. The Warriors down by 11 at the half ever overcome in a Game 7 win by the road team. And now here are the Warriors for the Fourth straight year going mm -hmm. up against the Cleveland Cavaliers. That never happened in professional sports, where the same two teams met for a championship four straight years. Reggie, Chris, how do you see the final? And obviously, it starts with LeBron James for Cleveland and what he has done this year. Played every game. Last night played his hundredth game, and he found ways to win with that team. People saying, arguably, the goat, the greatest of all time. That's subjective. Everyone can think what they want to think. But I will say this about LeBron James. What he has done for Cleveland, for that franchise, for that city, with a mid-season mid trade, with those young guys coming in, and a lot of them don't play, right? And it's all been about Kevin Love, who was out with the concussion, and Jeff Green. It's going to be an unbelievable final once again because of LeBron James and the history between these two franchises. And the trust that we have in LeBron. I mean, people thought he was out the first round, Toronto. The second round, yeah. people thought. And just to be able to watch, you want to say his maturity, but he's been this mature, it seems like, since day one in the league. Going to be exciting. The coaching matchup between Coach Lou and also Coach Kerr. But what the Warriors did tonight, that poise, coming back from a record deficit, man, that's special. It's, I, I can't wait. And should be a compelling final once again with uh, Mike Green, Jeff Van Gundy, Mark Jackson, yes. Doris Burke on ABC and in closing. I so enjoyed the season once again, yes. guys. Uh, with Reggie, the voice. Great work with this one. The marvelous it's one. Great. <laughs> Thanks to our whole crew. Entire crew, just fantastic. Led by Scott Cockrell, our producer and director, Andrew Greathouse. That uh, does it for us after a quick break. Inside the NBA, presented by Kia, continues Live from Houston with Ernie Kenny Charles and Shaq. Party. All right. Thank you guys all for watching. Please like, subscribe, and we'll see you guys next time.